You know, when I, I've been to Africa, and almost every day I can see new prophets coming out. Really? Yeah. I'm sure you don't know this. If, if you do, fantastic. If you don't, you're going to be shocked. I've always thought of Muslims first as being black, or at least like my color, because yeah. my father was born in Sudan. Okay, I see. Khartoum. And I don't know, someone in his family may be Muslim, but for some reason, I got baptized in two Christian religions. Mm. In Egypt, in Catholic, Greek Orthodox, and I don't remember what the other one mm. was. Because Jesus, as you have read the Bible, he never claimed divinity for himself, but then eventually people want to make sense of who is him really. So they have to have the Council of Nicaea 325 and the Council of yeah, Constantinople, yeah. right? 381. So eventually... Can I say something about that? Yes. In the Council of Nicaea, this will, you, I'm sure you don't know this. If, if you do, fantastic. If you don't, you're going to be shocked. Council of Nicaea got together to say, is Jesus the Son of God? It was a vote. Yes. It only won by about two votes. Imagine if there hadn't been the two votes, Jesus wouldn't even be talked about today. Anyway, go on. Because during that time, uh, Arianism was the one. They, they are the Unitarian. They are the one who believe that Jesus is not divine. Jesus is a, just a prophet of God, but he's never a God. But then, because uh, the Empire of Rome, the Constantine, they would like to, you know, you know there, there has been a pagan, Constantine. So we have to make sense of this. How? You see, when it comes to theology of religion, we don't go for words. You know? Either this is God or not God, it's decided by the scriptures, not decided by a word. No, this is not the elections of who is the president of the United States. <laughs> I agree. But it's funny that that's what happened with Jesus. It was the council when we see it. Yes. Christian belief that uh, Christianity is the only path to salvation. No, likewise, your salvation will be a condemnation for me as a Muslim. My salvation will be a condemnation for you. You know what's interesting about Christianity? It's not just that Christians say, oh, it's us, it's not the Muslims, it's not the Jews. In the Christians, they say, like the Catholics. Yeah. Catholics don't call themselves Christians. Catholics say, no, no, I'm not a Christian, I'm a Catholic. So they believe that they're separate and they believe they're the only ones. Then you have the Baptists and they go, no, no, we, we are going to go direct to God. So even in Christianity, they all say, no, we have the truth. That, that's why according to Newsweek in 2001, they come up with a research. They say uh, there are around 33,000 Christian, Christian denominations. Right. And that number have increased, yes. obviously. You know, I, I've been to Africa and almost every day I can see new prophets coming out. Really? Yeah. In Africa, I was there in... I was Christian in, or...? Christian. They say, what do they say? They claim we have a dream that Jesus came to our dream oh. and he appointed me to become a prophet. So every day... Every I didn't day, know that. That's interesting. So, so every day, we pass by the same route and then, because there are so many big trees over there, uh, the first day, this tree is occupied, but the, the next tree is not. So next day, we see the tree is occupied and the previous tree was occupied as well. So we start to be curious and we ask our host and say, okay, yesterday we just saw this group. Who is this group? Okay, this is another group that just have another dream yesterday. Jesus came to their, to their dream and appointed them to be a prophet. So I say, how do you determine is Jesus really come to your dream? Now, how do you know it's real? You say that your father was from Khartoum, Sudan. And then when he migrated, you have lost the lineage and faith. Yeah, yeah. So, so even, it even something what might surprise you. Do you know in Philippines, the last time, Philippines who was a majority Muslim. And what is it now? Majority Christian. Since when? When did it change? When the Spanish came? When the American came. Oh yeah, but that's the, the British did that to it. The British and the Spanish did that everywhere. They did that in Costa Rica and Nicaragua. They did that everywhere. They f the whole world.